Good morning, YouTube, all my friends and um, people out there. I'm looking a little disheveled this morning. Um, I got woken up. Well, I wasn't woken up, but I got up at 7.30 this morning, and about 8 o'clock, uh, the electric turned off. And um, so um, I'm like, oh, my God. So I go outside to see what's going on, and um, they tell me that uh, they put my electric back on for the time being, but they're changing all the electric in the park, uh, the major power companies here. They told me this time they'll give me a, a little bit more of a warning since they know that I'm I'm here with my two dogs. Um, I know there's a big glare. Here, sorry. Anyway, I just thought, wow, you know, so I got to get going. I have to bring the dogs with me for a while. Uh, the electric could be off up to three hours, and um, I know, Lily. That's what I say. Now there's people right next to the. Right next to Christine here, working. Not thrilling, and I have a one o'clock appointment today, and um, which I don't usually bring the dogs to, but um, I might have to. I don't know. They said that it would be done by then, so it's only quarter to ten. But boy, you know, as soon as the electric went off, because we were in Florida and the heat, you could. Oh my God, you could tell. It was just instantly stifling like just that feeling of no circulation in the air and I'm on the computer it went I'm all, actually the computer stayed on because it's battery but the TV went off and the fan and I just was like ah I'm telling you things happen every day every day something but um, this should be fixed by the afternoon you know, living in an RV, really, I mean, things, we talked about it yesterday. We had a hangout called RV Women, um, and we talked about living in an RV and all the differences between a house, regular home, you know, and an RV home. And living in an RV park and just something like this, waking up, to, you know, them turning off the electric. But uh, I know they're working on it. There's always surprises. Uh, this morning I woke up and I went to my dining area where I'm sitting, and I saw a spider. Just, I don't know what kind it was, but it was fast and I couldn't catch it. So now I know I have a another roommate, a spider roommate, which I do not like. But um, I looked for it and couldn't find it. Oh, boy. So, um, you know, just little things, just little things like turning the air conditioner off so I can make a bagel and then I had to reheat my coffee so I had to keep the air off while I did that and then you know you can't wait to put the air back on and it's like I will look forward to being in a cool climate where you don't need air conditioning just open windows and uh, put my max air fan on but in Florida you really don't put your max air fan on um, because it would just bring in humidity and we don't want that that's what's going on here in Florida this morning. Um, our hangout that we had yesterday is done every Sunday. RV Lady is usually the host, but she's at an RV park with lousy um, Wi-Fi, which is something I'll probably run into in the future. So that in that case, I took it over for her to help out, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. And we had a lot of people in the chat room with us, and. Um, we spoke about all kinds of different things about living in an RV. Um, just everything is different. It really is. And uh, things aren't made the same way as in a house to keep things light. So, you know, it's just completely different. When you go to hang something up, it's a completely different way to hang it up than you would normally in your, in your house. Um, and I'm getting used to it. I have no choice now. This is my home, so I've just got to get used to it. Uh, and part of me is enjoying it, and the other part of me is, you know, not missing, I don't know, maybe missing, missing my bathtub, um, missing the shower that I had, but this is sufficient, and I will get used to it. Um, that's right, you tell her. It's Rosie. Hey, it's okay. Well, okay, okay, thank you. Good job. Now go sit down. No, no more. No more. 
Christine, my dogs let me know if somebody's around, which is, that's their job. Okay, Rosie, but it's okay. Anyway. <laughs> so much for um, a good start to a morning. I'm going to have to get out of here in a little while. They said I could bring the dogs with me to the rec room. I might do that. I might just bring my computer and um, go sit in the rec room for a little while uh, where the air conditioner is going to be. Cool. It's between that and getting in the car and just driving around um, with the dogs, which doesn't sound like too much fun to me. So I will um, be keeping in touch with everybody. Thank you for all your comments. I'm glad everybody um, enjoyed the Hangout as much as I did. And perhaps next weekend I will do another one. If nobody else takes that um, position, that's okay. I really enjoyed it. And um, I liked having all women in the hangout. Not that I don't love men. I love men. Uh, I think we could have hangouts with, you know, just women. And we could have hangouts with both. Either way is good for me. But I did enjoy just the ladies. And, and the men in the side channel, they were funny and, and, and delightful. You all have a great day. We'll talk back with you later on. I'll probably take some videos during the day in my with my uh, trusty... Um, Samsung Note 4. That's my, my camera right now. And, um, oh, one other thing. This Another thing happened. I After the lights went out and stuff, and I came back in, and then they turned my electric on. They said they'd keep it on for another hour or so. I look at my computer, and the screen is upside down. Have you ever had that happen? It was completely upside down. I had to turn it upside down so I could actually get to the control panel and change it. I don't even understand that, but it was totally weird. See you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Thumbs up.